There's a popular perception that Messi is some innocent and humble dude who would never hurt a fly. Now, while we don't doubt his good nature, the fact still remains that Messi is actually something of a bad boy. Don't believe it? Come with us as we look at 10 times Lionel Messi was the biggest bad boy. And of course, we start with the most recent occurrence. A few days ago, Messi flew to Saudi Arabia following PSG's loss to Lorient in Ligue 1. At first, when reports broke that Messi and his family were in the Middle Eastern country, everything seemed okay, especially because Messi is an ambassador of the country. But then, news broke that PSG are contemplating suspending the Argentina captain because he didn't receive clearance from the club for the trip. Subsequent reports said that Messi had kept postponing the trip because of the club, but this time around he just decided he wasn't going to wait anymore, so he took his family and went. This man looks like he's already mentally checked out of Paris and everything that concerns it. But you know where he'll never mentally check out from? Argentina. The man loves his home country so much and he'll do absolutely anything to defend it, even if it means turning him into an absolute bad boy on the pitch. Perfect example, the quarter-final of the 2022 World Cup against the Netherlands. That match gave us absolutely everything. Crazy goals, late equalizers, penalty heroics, and a lot of drama. And Messi was at the center of all of it. Apparently, the Netherlands coach Louis van Gaal had made a lot of condescending comments about Messi and Argentina before the match. In fact, LVG had been saying things about Messi since the 2014 World Cup when he also coached the Dutchman in a game against Messi's Argentina. Well, as the bad boy that Messi is, he never forgot. When he scored the second goal of the quarterfinal game in Qatar, Messi celebrated by standing just in front of Van Gaal and cupping his ears like he was asking the Dutchman, what have you got to say now? What a guy. But Van Gaal was not the only person who was on the receiving end of Messi's wrath that night. Wout Weghorst was as well. Messi was being interviewed after the game when he sighted Weghorst standing some meters away from him. Immediately, Messi saw him. He asked, what are you looking at, fool? In Spanish words which have since become very famous, Messi didn't even care that he was in the middle of an interview. How can you not see that Messi is a top bad boy? He doesn't even care if he knows you personally. If you annoy him, you're getting it on the spot. You can ask Yeri Mina. The Colombian spent some playing time with Messi after he moved to Barcelona in 2018, but when Messi got mad at him at the Copa America, he didn't care about any of that. He made sure to make a mockery of him right there on the pitch. So here's the backstory. Yeri Mina has a habit of doing a little dance after scoring in a penalty shootout. He did it in the quarterfinal against Uruguay, and we're sure he was ready to do it again in the semis against Argentina. But then, Emi Martinez saved his penalty and Messi saw an opportunity to taunt the former Barca defender. As Mina was walking back to the halfway line, Messi shouted, Vaya hora! at him, which means dance now. Listen, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence really have nothing on this bad boy. And the truth is that not all his bad boy antics come when he's on the pitch, like when he was found guilty of tax fraud back in 2016. He was given a 21-month prison sentence for fraud, but it was later replaced with a $288,000 fine. Not exactly looking like an angel in your eyes anymore, is he? And before you start saying that he let the fame get in his head and change him, let's quickly debunk all of that. Messi has been this way since he was in his early 20s. In 2008, when Messi was just 21, before he even won his first Ballon d'Or, he did something really crazy. It was a game between Barcelona and Malaga, he felt aggrieved by one of the defenders, and guess what Messi did? He spat at the guy. He was merciless. He did not get a red card for it though. There was no VAR back then, but years later, when VAR had been introduced, we saw Messi get punished for violent conduct during a game. The year was 2021, and that was when Messi saw his first red card for Barcelona. It was about a minute before the end of extra time in the Spanish Super Cup, and Barcelona were losing to Athletic Club. Messi was trying to go forward and help get Barcelona a dying minute equaliser, but an athletic player got in his way and he quickly hacked him down off the ball. The referee didn't catch the foul in real time, but he was called to check the monitor, and after he did, he came back and gave Messi a red card. But to be fair, Messi doesn't just go around fouling people, and that's why what he did during a friendly game against Roma in 2015 came as a shock to all of us. Everything was going normally when the whistle went for offside and then, all of a sudden, Messi turned around and headbutted Mapu Yanga Mbiwa. We don't know what Mapu said that got Messi so riled up, but after locking heads, Messi also grabbed the Roma man by the neck before other players came in and broke up the fight. 
Now, one of our favorite bad boy comments from Lionel Messi came in that El Clasico game in 2017. We're sure you know the one we're talking about. The Clasico was tied at 2-2 with seconds to go and then, in the 92nd minute, Messi sent a dagger into the hearts of Madrid fans with his winning goal. But it wasn't bad enough that he had just scored a late winner against Madrid at the Bernabeu, he had to celebrate in the most cheeky manner which definitely made the Madrid faithful 10 times angrier. Messi stabbed him with the goal, but when he took off his shirt and went to show the Bernabeu crowd his name, he twisted the knife. And that right there still remains one of the most legendary goal celebrations in football history and one of Messi's biggest bad boy moments. But you know what our absolute favourite is? The slow walk Messi did back in 2010 after Barcelona had humiliated Madrid 5-0. Messi had absolutely terrorised Madrid all game, assisted two goals and got Ramos sent off. So in the end, when the destruction was complete, Messi had to leave the pitch because he was down injured. The extra slow walk he did while looking around the stadium with a smirk on his face was really bad boy business and perhaps it was a little exaggerated because we could see Ronaldo right there in the frame. Immediately Messi left the pitch, the referee blew for full time. Absolutely iconic. You think you're a bad boy, but are you as effortlessly and iconically bad as Lionel Messi? We really don't think so. Are there more Messi bad boy moments that we missed out on the list? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notifications so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.